Welcome to NewsNet with news and information for pastors and leaders in Washington Conference. I'm Shirlene McClendon. You're welcome to chat with us during this webcast. The chat feature is available in the streaming interface. Any questions will be answered in the chat box or by email. Our Adventist schools are gearing up for a new school year, and the Office of Education is asking for your help in recruiting students. Archie Harris shares more details about this request. Thank you, Shirlene. It's not easy growing up these days. Young people face challenges, pressures, and temptations that were unimaginable just a few years ago. In a world full of turmoil and constant change, Adventist education offers children the value-based tools needed to survive and succeed in this life and for eternity. A new school year is fast approaching, and all of our schools in Western Washington need your help in recruiting students for our value-based academic programs. Identify school-aged children in your church community. Introduce them to school leaders and help the families in your church find solutions for affording Adventist Christian education. One place to look for more information is AdventistEducation.org. And we thank you for supporting Adventist education and I look forward to an exciting new school year. Pastors, you and your family are invited to the Pastors Family Retreat at Sunset Lake on August 11 to 14. This is an opportunity for us to invest back in you and your family. The retreat includes inspirational meetings in the morning and family fun activities in the afternoon as a part of Sunset Lake's family camp. We are planning to play golf on Monday afternoon. If you plan to join us, be sure to bring your clubs. Dave Kraft will be speaking about how to aim your ambitions, refine your character, and position yourself to be an effective leader who endures. Please RSVP for the first half of the week at pastorsretreat2013.eventbrite.com. This part is free to you and your family. If you and your family would like to conclude the week at Sunset Lake Camp, you can make financial arrangements to join the remaining family camp activities by calling the camp at 360-829-0311 or visit sunsetlake.org. During pastor's family retreat, employees and spouses who are medical benefit eligible are welcome to take part in the Biennial Midland health screening. Your blood pressure, height, weight, body mass, index, cholesterol, glucose, and triglycerides will all be measured to give you big picture markers to better monitor your health. To participate, you will need to schedule an appointment and fast for 12 hours prior to the health screening. Pastors will be screened August 13 at Sunset Lake. Teachers will be screened August 14 at Auburn Academy. Office staff will be screened August 15 at the conference office. Tips about preparing for the health screening and details about a $50 incentive are available at WashingtonConference.org. It's time to order your handbills for REACH Washington. Our annual coordinated evangelism initiative starts on Friday, October 4th. The ministerial department did a market test on the handbills, and here are the results. The red Rethink handbill received a 2 to 1 higher response rate than the blue Unlocking handbill in four markets. You'll want to choose the handbill design that best matches your audience and the message you will be presenting. The handbill can be fully customized to meet your needs. You will find instructions online for obtaining your mailing counts and ordering your handbills and supporting materials. Your final proof needs to be confirmed by August 9 to avoid penalty fees. Washington Conference wants to partner with you to help you be successful in your Bible prophecy meetings. Additional printed resources are available to help enhance your overall presentation. Use the letterhead for creating a personalized invitation, sending welcome letters, developing handouts and outlines, and more. Place banners and signs outside your church or as part of your background. Obtain tickets to share with people you encounter. 
Find links to order your materials at washingtonconference.org slash reach resources. Leading up to October 4 will be a 40 days of prayer session and a prayer rally. Everyone is invited to spend 40 days in prayer seeking God's blessing in our upcoming evangelistic meetings. We anticipate more than 70 churches will be participating this year in REACH Washington. 40 days of prayer starts August 26 and continues until October 4. There will be a half-hour conference call each morning at 6 a.m. To join the call, dial 206-743-0338 and enter 32229 for the conference ID. Everyone is welcome and encouraged to participate as often as you can. September 28 will be a significant day of ministry training and prayer. Elders are invited to a conference-wide elders meeting at 4 p.m. The REACH Washington Prayer Rally will follow at 6 p.m. The Prayer Rally will conclude the 40 Days of Prayer Experience. Both events will be held at Auburn Academy Church. Prayer is vital to the success of our ministry efforts. Prayer reminds us that it is not about our personal endeavors, but about the power of God. Please bring your leaders and church members to the Prayer Rally. Thunder in the Holy Land is a new high-definition video Bible study series produced by Pastor Charles Bird. It has some of the look and feel of a National Geographic program or Discovery Channel program, featuring young reporters on location in the Middle East. This series is unique, allowing local pastors to replace the host and thus customize the program, becoming media pastors in their own right. This approach and the follow-through interaction method has an amazing track record of effectiveness. According to Questline Productions, 80-90% to 90 of those who started the Pilot Bible Study series finished it, and 70-80% to 80 made a commitment for Christ and are still in the church a year later. Our first pastor, Jonathan Fetrick, has just completed filming his segments. We look forward to hearing about his experience and preparing at least 10 more pastors for a similar experience next January or February. Summertime is a popular time for transitions. Here, who is on the move? Pastor Jennifer Scott from the Shelton and Brennan District recently accepted the senior pastor position of the 3,000-member Keene Adventist Church in Texas. Michael Huffham accepted the halftime locally funded position at the Anacortes Company. He is coming to us from Austin, Texas. Prior to that, he was pastor at Hanford, California. He and his wife, Anita, joined us in July. Andreas Beckai accepted the locally funded associate pastoral position at Green Lake Church of Seventh-day Adventist. He is a recent graduate of Andrews University Seminary and has most recently served as Associate Boys Dean at Auburn Adventist Academy. He started this position in June. Wagner Celio is the new Spanish coordinator for the Washington Conference. Pastor Celio will continue to serve as the pastor of the Federal Way and Kent Spanish Churches and will assume these duties as well. Victor Infante, who has been serving as the Bible worker for the Everett, Marysville, and Monroe Spanish District, will be moving down to assist Pastor Cilio as the Bible worker for the Federal Way and Kent Spanish Churches. Washington Conference's tithe year-to-date in June is $7.98 million. We are 3.5% behind in our tithe compared to where we were last June. Our overall membership is 22,518. So far this year, 304 people have joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Western Washington by baptism or profession of faith. We've covered a lot of topics today. The featured resources are available from the pastor's resource page at washingtonconference.org resources. Our verse of encouragement comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1. Paul writes to Timothy and to us, For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. Thank you for joining us today. 
this webcast will be archived for viewing on demand at WashingtonConference.org slash media. We hope you'll join us for Newsnet on Tuesday, September 3. I'm Shirlene McClendon, and I wish you God's blessings in ministry.